Hey y'all, it's Heather again from Cuz This and That. And I just wanted to kind of show you a few things that I am making and then something else that I'm gonna make tonight. So this will be the last film for tonight, but tomorrow morning I'll be getting up early and making some other things. You still have a chance to guess um, what I am making. Now that I have some dishes and everything else kind of in the way. Um, but anyways, so I'll just kind of show you some of the things that I am making right now. So hold on just a second. Okay, so this is the foam broth that I have been boiling in that for a couple days. I'm hoping it's going to turn into uh, the gelatin substance. Um, but I do have a bone in that in there. Um, as you see, it's kind of, but bone broth is great for just broth period, but it's also very healthy for you. It's got collagen and a whole bunch of other different antioxidants and everything else. So wanted to kind of show you that. And then this is what we are having for dinner. We're having Tuscan chicken. And usually I will do like, um, sun dried tomatoes and all of that, but, uh, no, I didn't get them. So we use what we have in our house instead of going to the grocery store. So hopefully that will be done here in a, just a little bit. Okay, so what I'm actually going to show you today is how to make yeast on, on your own. Now, it is gonna take a little bit of work, but it's not too much work. It's just, you're going to have a live star and so you're going to need to keep feeding it in that and um, it's gonna grow and you probably want to give it to some of your neighbors and they'll need to look up recipes and everything else on how to use a sourdough um, start but that's what I'm going to teach you is how to actually just make a yeast start so you can make bread and things that you you need to so anyways um, we'll hurry and get this done. Okay, so what I've done is I have added two cups of warm water. Now I prefer to kind of do it my, my testing way of how like when I make bread and things like that. Um, so it's a warmish, but not like scalding hot or anything. It's just, it's warm. Um, I had a temperature gauge thingy majigger right now. I would try to tell you what it is, but, uh, yeah, I have no idea. I just, I know by the touch. Um, so just warm, okay? Um, so two cups of that, and then we're gonna do two cups of flour. Now, I do have natural yeast. Um, I don't think I've actually made it for bread yet, so that'll be another trick up my sleeve, I hope. Just gotta remember, I'm like learning a whole bunch of stuff now that I'm actually like home and can do it. So anyway, so this is two cups of flour. And literally that is all you gotta do. You gotta mix it up. And you are going to let it sit for five to eight days. Uh, you can put something around it. it yeah just just remember it can also like overflow so make sure you have a, a big bowl okay when you go and use it you do need to use i believe like a tablespoon of of sugar and that's when you're actually going to make it but this it has to get a funky smell to it 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 needs to be fermented and it needs, so I, I'll probably put like plastic over it, but I wanna like put some holes in that in, in it so there is air, so they can. If it turns yellow or a weird color, it's probably not good. Now, mind you, it is going to turn a different color, but if it's yellow or anything, then you can't use it. And then what you can do is you feed it, and every time that you feed it, every week, you gotta do that every week, is, a cup of flour and a cup of um, warm water and that's how you're going to feed it but make sure that you're also using it so this is my very very first one that I'm making a little scary thought in time well in about a week we're gonna come back and see and if I can actually make something with it or not or if I have to start all over again happy to do it um, 
I know some other things are like like Amish bread or, or things like that. So I figured I'd kind of give you guys some tips that way you maybe you can share with neighbors or family or friends. Uh, we have to social distance ourselves. Uh, one thing I have learned with yeast or actually it's more anything that's live, like anything fermented, uh, winter time, it does not like to grow. So we're kind of in that perfect se um, season of doing that. Now you can put it back in your refrigerator, but if you are not feeding it once a week, it's gonna quit growing. And some people will say that I can make something dead come back alive. That's great. I've never found that out. I, I have done like cultures for um, uh, milk cultures, for like yogurts, stuff like that. Um, so I don't necessarily think about like putting them in my fridge for more than a week without feeding it. So I don't know, we'll just play around with it and I'm experimenting just as much as you all are. You can't find yeast at the stores in that right now. And like I have, some luckily but I want to learn how to also do this myself in the correct way so anyways okay love you all Mwah. bye